Welcome to this part. In this part, we'll be replacing the sky with more dramatic sky. Since you can see, this sky has no drama, no clouds are present. Since I shot it around 3 or 4 p.m. in the it's before the evening or it's in the noon, and I was not having any filter, so there was no sky, no cloud at that time. So it is very plain and boring sky. So we'll replace it with the more dramatic sky. So in order to do that, we need a picture of clouds or dramatic clouds. So we'll take this image. This image I shot with my camera phone and you can see if I zoom it out, you can see that since it was shot with the mobile phone, so it has lots of uh, pixelation and the distortion the quality is not good so we'll fix that also so let's drag it for dragging it onto this image we can press V and just click and drag it over here and We'll convert this to the smart object and by pressing Ctrl T we can have access to the resize tool. We'll reposition it and we will stretch it out and press OK or you can press Enter. Alright, so once we get this then we need to come over here need to change the layer blend mode so make it darken or multiply ok multiply works very well over here you can see you can change the layer blend mode to multiply and it will mix the image so since this image is of very low quality we need to fix that so that it doesn't show up in our final image so what we can do we can use Gaussian blur to blur it out and but in that case it will not look good so one more option is that we can create it as a long exposure shot and in long exposure you might have seen that we have a zoom effect in the sky sometimes so in order to create that in the Photoshop we need to come over here on the filter panel and select filter blur and radial blur select zoom from here quality to the good and let's drag it to this center point towards little down and you can increase the size little bit around 23 and press ok and it will apply this filter on this sky image and it is done but you can see that this effect has been applied way too much this is not what we want since we have applied this on the smart object or the smart layer after converting it to the smart object we have advantage that we can go back to this radial filter and we can change its setting again and again without just going again by pressing ctrl G undoing it and then applying and then experimenting it so just double click it and it will show up all the options you can see now we need to drag it little bit way up and amount little less around 12 or 15 and press ok and now we have more realistic sky rather than plain sky okay so 
now we need to remove this part of the sky from the image so in order to do that we need to create a layer mask you can create the layer mask by pressing this little mask icon create just click it and it will create a white mask over here so now come down to the brush panel take the brush take the soft edge brush and opacity to let's take opacity to 50% if you press 5 on your keyboard it will turn the opacity to 50% if you press 1% 1 on your keyboard then it will turn it to 10% 2 for 20% 3 30% and if you press 0 it will turn your opacity to 100% right so we need 50% make sure you have the default black and white color over here if it is not press D on your keyboard and it will turn to the default color and you can press X to flip this color okay back and forth and now start painting over here make sure you select the layer mask and if you are, you are not selecting the sky so if it will be a sky then it will not apply over here it's not working so we need to change the blend mode from multiply to normal first and now we can erase it oh sorry we are taking the others white color we don't need to change the blend mode and we can start removing it by painting over the area which we don't want and as we go towards the edge of this sky or this wheat field we need to lower the opacity to 1% 10% and slowly start painting so that it mixes with the sky so that it doesn't appear that we have later on added the sky it should look like it's a part of it you can see there is some problem on the sky over here we can also fix that we'll do that later on not at this moment we can use stamp tool to remove this some uh, plants weeds and uh, we have successfully replaced the sky in the next chapter we will be adding sun to the sky so see you in the next chapter thank you so much thanks for watching and if you like the today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you